Hi, I'm Carly and welcome to Be Positive, the TV show made here at the Royal Children's Hospital. Sometimes doctors need to see what's happening on the inside of your body. There is a special camera called a CT camera that takes these pictures and today we're going to learn all about it. We'll take you inside the hospital. Together we'll discover interesting places, meet new people, and learn about helpful devices. On today's show, Lily tells us all about having contrast, a cool liquid that makes your CT pictures brighter and easier to see. We get to know Nisha, a radiographer who takes the CT pictures. And then Lexi and Thelma tell us all about having a CT. But before all that, Nova Lee teaches us all about lead aprons, the funny clothes people wear when you're having your pictures taken. Hi, my name is Nova Lee. Have you ever made a shadow puppet on the wall? Well, when you do, your hand is stopping the light from getting to the wall and makes a shadow. X-rays are a little bit like this. X-rays are like light rays, but they are invisible. You can't see them or feel them. Some cameras at the hospital take pictures of the inside of your body using X-rays. X-rays come out of the camera and pass through the soft things in your body, like skin and fat. But the harder things, like bones and muscles, stop the X-rays from passing. This makes a shadow that you can see on a picture. Pretty cool, huh? CT cameras, X-ray cameras, and fluoroscopy cameras all use X-rays to take pictures of the inside of your body. If you need these pictures, the other people in the room will sometimes wear these lead aprons. Lead aprons block the X-rays. The people in the room don't need x-rays because they aren't having pictures taken of their body. That's why they wear them. Lead aprons have different colours, shapes and pictures on them. Let's check them out. The lead aprons are so cool. So many colours, shapes and pictures. I wonder which ones you'll choose for the people to wear when you have your pictures taken. Next up, Lexi tells us all about having CT pictures of her chest. Hi, my name is Lexi. Today I'm at the Royal Children's Hospital to have some photographs taken of my chest using a special camera called a CT scanner. Dad and I find the medical imaging department on the lower ground floor. We walk around to the CT waiting area and wait there until it's my turn to go in. When it's time to start the scan, we go into the CT room with Fiona, the radiographer. She shows us the CT scanner and asks Dad and I some questions. The scanner looks like a big donut and has heaps of little stickers on it. I have a look through the camera and stick a sticker on the side. 
There is also a skinny bed which can slide in and out of the CT camera. Fiona helps me onto the bed and I lie down. It's quite comfortable. When I look up, I can see sparkly fish on the ceiling of the CT room. Fiona gives Dad a lead apron to wear. This apron blocks the camera from taking Dad's photo. That means he will be able to stay with me while I'm having my photos taken. Fiona explains that I need to lie very still while the photos are being taken so that they come out clearly. I'm going to pretend to be a super still statue. Fiona goes into the next room to start the camera. The bed begins to move slowly into the round part of the camera. There is plenty of room inside the circle. I keep still, I can see the stickers on the camera as I slide inside. This is fun! While I'm lying ready for my photos to be taken, I listen for Fiona's voice. Fiona tells me to take a deep breath in and hold it in. So I take a very deep breath and fill up my chest with air. As I'm holding my breath, the bed moves back into the camera and takes my photo. Now we have another turn. I go into the camera, listen for Fiona's voice, take a big breath and hold it. And then slide through the camera to have more photos taken. Fiona tells me I'm doing a great job of keeping still and that she only needs to take a few more photos. This time I slide into the camera again, but Fiona's voice says to take a breath in and then all the way out and hold it. So first I breathe in and then I blow all the air out and stop my breathing while the camera moves a little way and takes my photo. I do this three times. Soon I can slide out of the camera and Dad says, that was great. I stay lying still while Fiona looks at the photos on her computer to see if she's got all the photos she needs. Then she comes back into the CT room and helps me to sit up. Great job, says Fiona. I choose a sticker to take home with me. Then I climb off the bed. Dad takes off his apron and we're ready to go. Having my CT didn't take very long and it was fun sliding in the camera. See ya, bye. This CT camera also takes pictures of your head and Thelma tells us all about it. Hi, my name is Thelma. Today I am at the Royal Children's Hospital to have some photos taken of my head using a special camera called a CT scanner. Dad and I find the medical imaging department on the lower ground floor. We then walk around to the CT waiting area and wait there until it is my turn to go in. When it's time to start the scan, we go into the CT room with Joe, the radiographer. A radiographer is a person who takes the CT photos. She shows us the CT scanner and asks Dad and I some questions. The scanner looks like a big donut and has heaps of little stickers on it. I have a look through the camera and see the stickers on the side. Joe gives Dad a little apron to wear. This apron blocks the camera from taking Dad's photo. That means he will be able to stay with me while I'm having my photos taken. There is also a skinny bed which can slide in and out of the CT camera. Joe helps me onto the bed and I lie down with my head on a soft grey pillow. 
The pillow cradles my head and helps me keep still. It's comfortable and when I look up I can see sparkly fish on the ceiling of the CT room. Joel explains that I need to lie very still while the photos are being taken so that they come out clearly. Jo shines a little red light so she can see that I am in a good position for the camera. Jo goes into the next room to operate the camera. The bed begins to move slowly into the round part of the camera. There is plenty of room inside the circle. This is fun! I keep really still while I am lying ready for my photos to be taken. Soon the bed begins to slide out and as it does, the seat it takes photos of me. Now we have another turn into the camera and then slide through the camera to have more photos taken. I stay lying still while Jo looks at the photos on her computer to see if she's got everything she needs. Soon Jo comes back into the CT room and helps me to sit up. Great job, says Jo. I choose a sticker to stick on the camera. Dad takes off his apron and we are ready to go. Having my CT didn't take very long and it was fun sliding in the camera. Nisha is a radiographer who helped Lily have her CT pictures. Jazz caught up with her yesterday. Let's take a look. Hi Nisha. Hi Jazz. Nisha, what's your job here at the hospital? I'm a radiographer, so I work in CT and X-ray. And what does a radiographer do? I take pictures of all the different parts of uh, someone's body. Oh, that sounds cool. What's your favourite thing about your job? I really like that we get to see all sorts of different things every day. Really special, like one of a kind things. It's very cool. And what do you like to do when you're not at the hospital? I like to go driving and exploring. What do you like to explore? Waterfalls is definitely my favourite thing. Wow. I will I'll go anywhere for a waterfall. Wow, that sounds cool. What's your favourite colour, Nisha? Yellow, definitely yellow, like really bright sunshine yellow. Wow, that sounds lovely. And what's your favourite food? Pasta, for sure. Uh, lasagna, I think, is my favourite. Yum, that sounds yummy. Nisha, thank you so much for chatting to us today. No problem. See you later. Bye. Bye. See ya. Sometimes children have to have a special liquid called contrast that comes from this machine. This makes the pictures bright and easier for your doctors to see what's happening. Lily tells us about getting an IV cannula to have contrast for her pictures. Hi, my name's Lily. A little while ago, I went to the Royal Children's Hospital to have MRI pictures taken of the inside of my body. Mum and I went to medical imaging. It's a place in the hospital where all kinds of medical photos are taken using lots of different machines. We checked in. Chantelle, the receptionist, gave me an ID bracelet. This tells everyone in medical imaging who I am. We waited a little while and then Kirsten, an MRI technologist, took us to another room for a chat. She told me that some children who are having an MRI or other pictures like a CT need to have a special liquid called contrast or tracer put into their body. Contrast or tracer helps the technologist get the best pictures. IV stands for intravenous. Intravenous means into your veins, so an IV cannula is a little straw that goes into your vein. Cool. I 
I needed contrast for my pictures. So Emma, another technologist, helped me with my IV cannula. First, she used a tourniquet. It's like a seat belt. It gave my arm a little squeeze. Wow, it made my veins big and easy to see. Emma cleaned my skin. Then she used a special cold stick called CoolSense. Emma put it onto the part of my skin where she could see my vein. It felt really cold and made it go numb. Numb means you can't feel that part of your skin as much, making it easier to have the IV cannula. Some children like to look, but I chose to play a find it game. Emma put a sticker over the IV cannula. She pushed some salty water into the IV cannula. It's called a flush and it checks if the IV cannula is working. I didn't feel anything but some children say it feels cold and some children say it feels warm. Emma covered it to keep it safe and comfortable. Time for my pictures on the MRI machine. Kirsten took a few pictures of my body without contrast. Then she put the contrast into my IV cannula. It felt a bit cold for me. Back into the machine for more pictures. The contrast helped to make the pictures of my body bright and clear. Some children have contrast before their pictures or while their pictures are being taken. You can ask your technologist about when they need to put the contrast in for you. The pictures are finished. Kirsten took the IV cannula out of my hand. Time to go home. Bye. Well, that's all we have time for today. I hope you've enjoyed learning all about CT. If you're in the hospital and like to be a part of our show, just ask the child life therapist on your ward or send us an email. I'm Carly, thanks for watching. Be positive.